incorrect diagnosis. Let's watch the clip. Four B's got post-op pneumonia. Let's start antibiotics. Are you sure that's the right diagnosis? Well, I don't know. I'm only an intern. Here's an idea. Why don't you go spend four years in med school and then let me know if it's the right diagnosis? She's short of breath. She's got fever. She's post-op. Start the antibiotics. God, I hate nurses. I'm Alex. I'm with Jeremy. You're, uh, you're with the Nazi, right? She may not have pneumonia, you know. She could be splinting or have a P.E. Like I said, I hate nurses. What did you just say? Did you just call me a nurse? Oh, the white cap fits. Scene one. We have four main characters. Richard Weber, general surgeon. Alex Grave, surgical intern. Meredith Gray, surgical intern. And a nurse. This is the pit. It is also known as the emergency room ER. This is a patient. Four B's got post-op pneumonia. Let's start antibiotics. Post-op or post-operative. Relating to the period of time that immediately follows a medical operation. For example, post-operative care or post-operative infection. Operation Informal op An occasion when a doctor cuts a body for medical reasons in order to repair, remove, or replace an unhealthy or damaged part. For example, we have a major, minor, routine operation. Respiratory tract. The parts of the body that air passes through during the act of breathing, consisting of the mouth, nose, throat, and lungs. Upper respiratory tract infections such as the common cold. Lower respiratory tract infections such as pneumonia. Pneumonia. P is silent. Pneumonia. Pneumonia. It is defined as a lower respiratory tract infection with accompanying consolidation visible on chest x ray. A serious illness in which one or both lungs become red and swollen and filled with liquid. People who are bedridden can easily get pneumonia. Bedridden Having to stay in bed because of illness or injury. For example, his aunt was 93 and bedridden. Bost ab pneumonia. It can be defined as either hospital acquired pneumonia developing 48 to 72 hours after admission. Or 
Ventilator Associated Pneumonia, VAB, developing 48 to 72 hours after endotracheal intubation occurring in the post-surgical patient. Ventilator A machine that helps people breathe correctly by allowing air to flow in and out of their lungs. For example, he was brought into intensive care shortly after the accident and immediately put on a ventilator. Endotracheal Inside or passing through the trachea, the tube that carries air from the throat to the lungs. This is a trachea. Intubation The act of putting a tube into any hollow organ or tube-shaped structure in the body in order to keep it open, remove liquid for testing or give a drug. Endotracheal intubation Endotracheal intubation, EI It is often an emergency procedure that is performed on people who are unconscious or who cannot breathe on their own. Antibiotic a medicine or chemical that can destroy harmful bacteria in the body or limit their growth. For example, I'm taking antibiotics for a throat infection. We have talked about this word earlier if you remember. Let's go back to the text. Four B's got post-op pneumonia. Let's start antibiotics. Are you sure that's the right diagnosis? A diagnosis. A judgment about what a particular illness or problem is made after examining it. For example, diagnosis of the disease is difficult in the early stages. Well, I don't know, I'm only an intern. Here's an idea, why don't you go spend four years in med school and then let me know if it's the right diagnosis. We've talked earlier about these words, med school, intern, do you remember? Listen to the way he said. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. And then let me know if it's the right diagnosis. And then let me know if it's the right diagnosis. And then let me know if it's the right diagnosis. She's short of breath, she's got fever, she's post off. Start the antibiotics. Short of breath. Difficulty in breathing. Differentiate between the word breath and breathe. Fever. A medical condition in which the body temperature is higher than usual and the heart beats very fast. For example, he's got a headache and a slight fever. So, this patient has shortness of breath, fever, and she's a post op
God, I hate nurses. I'm Alex. I'm with Jeremy. You're, uh, you're with the Nazi, right? Nazi. Not. See. Nazi. It is Bailey's nickname. She may not have pneumonia, you know. She could be splinting or have a P.E. Splinting. Stiffening of a body part to avoid being caused by movement of the part as from a fracture or other injury. Pulmonary. Relating to the lungs. Lungs are organs used for breathing. Embolism. A bubble of air, a mass of blood that has become hard, or a small piece of fat that blocks an artery. Pulmonary embolism, PE. Pulmonary means the lungs, and embolism refers to a clot that forms in one part of the body and it travels through the bloodstream to another part of the body. Like I said, I hate nurses. Listen to the way he said. Like I said. Like I said. Like I said. Like I said, I hate nurses. Like I said, I hate nurses. Like I said, I hate nurses. What did you just say? Did you just call me a nurse? Well, the white cap fits. White cap. A hat worn as part of a uniform. It refers to nurses. Let's watch again with no subtitles. Four B's got post-op pneumonia. Let's start antibiotics. Are you sure that's the right diagnosis? Well, I don't know. I'm only an intern. Here's an idea. Why don't you go spend four years in med school and then let me know if it's the right diagnosis? She's short of breath. She's got fever. She's post-op. Start the antibiotics. God, I hate nurses. I'm Alex. I'm with Jeremy. You're, uh, you're with the Nazi, right? She may not have pneumonia, you know. She could be splinting or have a P.E. Like I said, I hate nurses. What did you just say? Did you just call me a nurse? Well, the white cap fits.